Alright guys, welcome back to Factorio with Doc. And yeah, from last episode we started our um, main bus and I just went ahead and connected everything we can connect so far to the bus. Yay! And here it is. Ah, ain't that beautiful? Isn't that a majestic feeling to get your first bus situation going? And I have some space up here. Um, without uh, needing to go in to clear out the woods, so I definitely want to start setting up my science situation up there. Because, yeah, we're stalling with science at the moment, and that ain't good. So, um, let's get some pass blocks. Oh, by the way, I figured out how to delete passes again. You just have a pass block in your hand and hold right click. So, that is all good. Let's bring out our pass a little bit further. Let's say up to here and yeah, about here we can start it. Okay, do I have conveyor belts? Of course not. Always not enough conveyor belts. Yeah, you need to fully automate it soon as well so we get more. I'm sick of putting iron plates in there by hand. Maybe we do a little hack thing and to put a leech some of that line here for the time being. But I try to avoid stuff like that as much as possible. But it's getting a bit annoying running back and forth here all the time. Alt. So, let's get these belts, all of them. And we have a bunch of stuff. Okay, we can already start building laboratories while we're at it. Let's make a bunch. Okay, I hope you don't have to craft anything else, but you know. Let's get those labs up and running. I think 12. I think I want to do a 3 by 4 or so. 12 for now, 12 labs, need a lot of power. We might have to upgrade our power when we when we start getting into science properly. Okay, so let's first of all lengthen our buses here. Let's bring that up all the way to here. Can we somehow do that faster? Oh well, that's partially okay. Right on the conveyor belt, boom. Laid it all out, so we can proper properly take uh, stuff off the off the belt, of the main conveyor belts. Hopefully, we have enough space here in between, but I do think we have it. I hope. Otherwise, I have to um, redesign this and bring the bus down further to have a bit more space in between. Hopefully. Hopefully I didn't misplan that. We'll see. Okay, let's say we want to get some iron out now. So we can do that, let's say right here. Yep, so we remove that. And now we snag some iron from this one. Whenever we snag, we should rebalance, but yeah, we'll get into that later. So yeah, that works. We can go under under here that's a tiny bit annoying to have these double under whatever thing here but it's all right we're getting iron in here so that is already a decent start so what do we need to make um, red signs well we need these production facilities i made a bunch of those factories basic factories so the first ones they need to make iron gear and let's look at it real quick so if we want to do science packs those do it takes five seconds to make one so if we put 10 down we will do two per second that seems an appropriate number and the gears take 0.5 so theoretically we would need one we will have some stallage so we will need to use two two to make the iron gears all right so let's put inserters here one two and then we put that thing here uh, maybe maybe we move up a little bit. Who knows? We might need some trickery with the copper and stuff. Okay, so that goes here. One, two, and then I guess we put another one here. 
and those bad boys will make gears gear gear so then we made those and obviously for the red signs we need copper and iron wheels so we probably want to use a shared belt to do so so yeah we sent we sent stuff out again then we should have more belt didn't we yeah okay so then theoretically those will put it on the back side of this okay so that means if we want to bring in copper we should do it like this you know yeah do it like this can we remove that now oh no then it connects okay yeah that should work right uh, they put the parts here the copper comes on the left side so now we just need to snag ourselves some copper okay let's do that um, we need the underground belt thing again so now this this is the beauty the beauty of the uh, of a conveyor belt like that know what i mean look if you have a real bus things things then can be leached off and everything is awesome so boom let's push that in here so now we're leeching off that line that means this line here is only half and we kind of want to make up for that again so if we let's say if we put that thing here we take half of that and we balance it out again yeah i think this is how it works with balancing out these conveyors something like that and we would need that here too i'm sure either in front or behind but i think yeah this is a load balancer again it balances these two out okay so that should be fine so now if we bring power up to this puppy we should be able to create everything we need we can even remove this this is not needed and then we can extend up here and i say bring it out a little bit and then we we technically we need 10 10 of these guys here so we should start behind here and then we go wait needs to go over by one yeah and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now there is a way to copy and paste recipes how do you do that control no shift control shift oh man there was a way to do it i need to look that up too because that can save us a, us a lot of time if you can copy and paste the settings for these things i'm pretty sure it works i have to yeah i'll find it out don't worry but you can also always leave a comment and tell me how it's done okay so and now if we put those guys here facing inward uh, do we need two I mean technically it takes one of each to five yeah I don't uh, uh, let's put two there it's additional energy but who cares just to be sure but I'm pretty sure one would be more than enough actually but all right whatever now we did it okay and let's bring that up further all the way to here okay that means we should be able to pump out a nice amount of red signs now right because yeah 
should be good, right? This only takes copper plate and iron gear. This stuff will be on here and then can snag it. Nice. Okay, and then output. We're gonna do a shared belt later for red and green sign signs. So this belt later, this is the outbound belt that leads to our uh, res research lab setup, actual, the actual setup. Okay, so I think this all makes proper sense. So now we just need, need to get power there, right? I wanted to have some lamps along the, the path anyways. It's so dark here, as you can see. So maybe we grab some power alongside the bus here and then also put down some lights. Mm. Let's make a few. What are we missing? Iron, okay. Well, we can definitely snag some from here. Let's make a few more lamps. Okay, and then, okay, we have power sitting here. Say on the inside here, we bring the power up. Something like that. And then we just do this. Hey, wait. I want it to be connected to the lower one. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Well. Yeah, I guess that's kind of fine too. But there, approximately, just bring the power out a bit, so we can have lamps along the path. And then here, and then here. And now, from here on out, we should be able to just pull, right? Bam, 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 bam. Then we go up to here, and then we continue. Whoop. Not on here. We jump to over here. And I guess to up here and then to there. Then we hit all these. What are we out? Yeah. Dang. Okay, um, and then jump over here, hitting the rest. Okay, the gear manufacturing has started. So now we have to see where we put those. Maybe just going up along here. Yeah, I think we got all of them robots. Okay, neat. And now we just need guys that put stuff out. So... And then we need more power. Okay. And more power poles. everything powered sure does look like it oh this poor fellow here ain't so gonna yeah we're gonna just put another one here who cares okay yeah neat look we have red signs coming out i think it's a pretty decent red sign setup i would say and we should have a decent amount of stuff coming out okay pretty neat right next to here we will build the green setup later but yeah that's a bit later now um, let's grab our existing science lab setup we have downstairs and completely remodel that feed that feed that into our system okay mm. 
set up a new sign system okay here down here we had our old sign set up and then we can we can tear all that down and reuse that should make a steel axe so we can pick up stuff a bit quicker but whatever start with the cleanup right away why is there a copper plate on the floor okay the robot just leaves it then interesting Oop. okay let's remove those for now okay already looks a bit more clean down here nice okay we were making sign slabs we have 10 in total now i'd like to have 12 in total ah we had 12 in total no don't do it don't do it here i thought so wait what ah, okay they have probably have some something in them or so they don't stack at the moment but it's all right okay so we automated our red signs of the bus pretty excited about that actually very excited it's like yeah you know our first cool thing that we built off the bus ain't that sweet okay yeah back here we're gonna set up our signs so far i haven't seen any of the aliens um, running around so i think we're cool Okay, let's see. Um, we started here. Say here. And then we go... We always need to have space for robots passing stuff on. So, you know, that guy goes here and then there's another lab. Three, and then... I think like that. Right? Yeah, and we should be able to pass pass stuff through. I mean, we can give it a test, you know. Let's just test it. But I think that should work. So. Let's say, yeah, we just put them in between here. Okay, now, say we deliver this here, right? Plop, plop, plop plop they have power now so if i have a robot picking up stuff from here yep they pass it on look at that so that means with this one input if you have the shared belt here we can feed quite a lot okay that means we can we can connect them like that so one two Three. We should start to set up turrets. I don't know, man. It's easy mode, so I don't know how dangerous it actually is, but it just doesn't feel right that we're, you know, continuously building up stuff here and nothing is happening. I don't want to jinx it, but something feels fishy here. I have definitely monsters on. Maybe I have... Is there a setting where you say only attack me after I attacked you first or something? I'm not sure. Okay, but this way, yeah, we spread it out and then forward. Yeah, it's it's spreading out to this place here already. Cool. Okay. Um, then let's pop down some power. That should reach everything, right? How is our power situation? Well, we're using 1.8 megawatts right now and uh, <coughs> that uses half of our production cap capability sweet guys so um yeah now we can still look at finishing off everything single red and we're feeding this nicely look at that ain't that sweet and of course we want to make it whoa okay we are blasting through the research now that's seems to have been a really good plan what I did there cool man okay you know let's put some lights in here as we said we kind of have a bit of a rule to make everything nicely lit up and here we also gonna like every other one we're gonna do a light
something like that it's nice and bright here here we put a light too and that's definitely fast enough yeah let's put two in here and then we said we want to have lightings light along the way so every second lamp along the path here we're gonna put a light source and maybe yeah should be good enough it will not be perfectly symmetrical but come on man you can live with that light here 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 we just put it on everywhere okay and then we just keep on going so we said everywhere we put a light here so it's really bright mm. almost everywhere mm. and there okay sweet so now we can have a look at our iron supply it doesn't look like you know we're having a dent in that you always need to keep a look at out on our feeder lines and on our bus see if everything runs short and then we need to increase the production for it kind of this uh, you know balancing act but i think this is a pretty decent red sign setup here could use what else could we do fluid handling well let's just research everything we can so everything that is oh we can do that increase the speed of a shotgun shell all right i'll do everything that is purely red but yeah this keeps up nicely with our demand here and we have a nice uh, big buffer on the belt and how many do they keep one or two i think they can keep up to two all right yeah that works out well pretty cool pretty cool i'm pretty happy about that so one thing i definitely also wanted to do is we want to hook up the stone here to the bus um one thing i wonder though like let's say if we if you want to bring out this stone line here and bring it towards the bus where would we do it could we get it through here how many give me more conveyors so let's say we pull from here right that's the output of it i just want to see and i wonder how uh, if it works for the steel then I mean that is we can try it here so we need to go under and then we don't have enough space to go under here again so we need to do some trickery okay let's let's try that out real quick because that is something you know if you don't fix it now we will have more issues with it in the future so we come to here and now we would need to go to there that means this has to go this has to go and then yeah now we made it to here okay that's decent oh okay then all the weaponry stuff is done that we cannot do we cannot do anything here done 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 everything that is possible oh the tool belt ah oh, we can't we need green signs for that okay we need to hook that up asap that is done done do we even have any in single research anymore no this is definitely the last one okay so we need to start thinking about green research asap okay but first let's fix that and there is the alarm yeah yeah i hear you i hear you okay that should work it's a bit crummy but 
it works and we can get the steel out okay and then yeah we just do the same thing pretty much here we should probably merge the two steel lines although no I want to come out with separate lines we can do that we just you know bring one through here somewhere and then um, we hook up the steel so steel will be here already pre-planning a bit one two one two and that will be steel two lanes of steel and two lanes of blue circuits one and then definitely stone and other stuff and more stuff okay cool thanks for watching my friends i think next time we should start setting up the second tier signs which is green we need inserters and transport how do you do inserters mm, they need circuits green circuits so maybe we should try to set up a green circuit factory beforehand get that on the lane and um, then pull everything from there before we start with the signs well i'll think about it see you next time i'm out bye guys Thank <laughs> you.